Hi friends, Eric Casella here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, for today's video, I'm so excited because today we got these KKW uh, perfumes came in the mail today and I'm so excited. There's, I bought all of them because wait till you see the packaging, it's so beautiful. So here we have this one, don't we have this one? And then we have this one. So I opened them. I sprayed them on the cap. That way I can like smell the the base note. So for those of you who don't know, um, like perfumes and colognes have like three different layers. There's like the top notes, the heart notes, and the base notes. The top notes are going to be when you first spray it. The base notes are kind of like when they're settling down. So they're usually like the five to six hour mark. And then the base notes are usually lasting the longest and they sit closer to your skin. So it's kind of like a layer of smell, if that makes sense. Like, you know what I mean? So we're going to get into it. Um, let's talk about this. I spray them all that way I can gather my thoughts of what I think they smell like. So, for this one, this is the black one. This, dude, look at this. Okay, first of all, this is how the box comes, right? Beautiful, gorgeous. And then it opens like this. Beautiful. There's little irises in the picture in here. It's got these little ribbons. Gorgeous. It literally says night iris. That's the scent. It's one mil. Uh, 30 milliliters. Et de parfum. I I was reading about this last night, and there's different types of like scents, right? So there's parfum, which is like I think like the strongest. It has like twenty to thirty percent, uh, like essential oil, which is like the scent, um, is in there. And then after that, it's this one. So this one's like the second strongest concentration, and then it just teeters on from there. Um, definitely look into it if you are getting into perfumes and such. I started getting into it recently and I'm hooked. And I think I got into it because I saw this and I like fell in love. Okay, so, um, so I showed you the front and how it opens and such. And on the back it actually has the notes. Um, oh, and then, so let's see. I forgot to mention, this is the Jeff Lethem, Lethem, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but here it is, uh, it's by KKW Fragrances, of course, this is the Night Iris, and yeah, so it has a shelf life of 36 months, 30 mils, one fluid ounce, it is flammable, because it does contain alcohol. Uh, and it's pretty cool because it contains little ingredients right there. So just in case you're allergic to anything like that, uh, definitely take a look. I'm not sensitive to anything like that, so I really don't mind it. But, um, so the notes are in the back. So it says that the top notes are wild berry and bright bergamot, luminate and opalescent introduction. So that's just a fancy way of saying the top notes are wild berry and bergamot. And then the middle, like the heart notes are Night, Butterfly, Dahlia, Tobacco Leaves, and Blue Iris. I love me Blue Iris because I love powdery smells. So that's why I was the most excited about this. And then the base notes are Patchouli and Benzoin. I don't know what that is. And it says blended with sandalwood. I don't know what Benzoin is, so I would have to look into that. But... From smelling it, oh my god, did I show you the bottle? It's supposed to be like a, <coughs> like a little vase. <coughs> oh my god. It's supposed to be like a little vase, and it's like, it's supposed to hold like a little flower bud up here. I don't have anything in, that looks like a flower, but... Uh, so it's basically supposed to look like this, right? Well, sure. You basically... Okay, pretend this is a flower, this is a makeup brush. But like, you would cut all the way to the stem and you would put the thing in there and it would be like holding it. Isn't that so beautiful? I love it. So, there's that. This bottle is like hefty. Like you can knock someone on the head with this. Um, beautiful. And it's got little room so you can add your little bud. This thing, 
ceramic. But the bottom, I don't know if it's ceramic. I think it might be plastic because it doesn't sound the same. And this is hefty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the top is ceramic, but the bottom isn't. This is what it looks like. Comes out like that. I sprayed it in there. <sighs> okay. So I have my thoughts. I'm not a spray expert, but like, I'm like, okay, if it smells good, it smells good. I don't know what the big deal is. This one, I thought it was going to be my favorite, but it actually, I don't think it is. Only because I mainly smell, um... I feel like I mainly smell the wild berry and I personally do not like that because it's a little sweet for me. I was hoping I could smell more of like a powdery finish, but this one's a little too sweet for me. I wish, I wish it was a little more powdery, a little more musky, but this smells like candied berries almost. There's like small hints of... I don't know. Like I'm low-key starting to like this a little more, but... I thought it was gonna be different. Um, I don't know why, but I thought... It was gonna be like this. This is the Moonlight Path by Bath and Body Works. This thing is the absolute epitome of what I look for in a fragrance. Um, and I heard that's like a powdery smell, so I was looking a little more powdery. Yeah, this just smells a little sweet. Maybe it might, because when you put oils and perfumes on you, it's gonna have different reactions to your skin oils and smells. So maybe it smells better on me than on the cap, but that's just my first impressions of it all. Beautiful packaging, and it literally just sits there like this. Have you seen anything more stunning? I have not. I'm like keeping this box 100%. Oh, did I close it? Why is it not closing? Oh, cool. There you go. And it is magnetic, so very fancy. It's like a cardboard, but it's like a soft matte, beautiful. Like, I'm keeping this forever. Okay, so there's that one. And then the next one we're going to go into is Jasmine Air. Um, same idea. It's got the little grayness. Um, it's got the little jasmine flowers printed on the inside. It's all gray, has the same Jasmine Air Jeff, Jeff L. And then down here also has the ingredients. It does have the same 36 month shelf life, 30 mils, one fluid ounce, flammable. What, can you, what, what did you think was going to happen? This one, hmm. Definitely gives me grandma smell. This like reminds me of like a grandma CEO, you know? Like it gives me the same energy as like um, that like Chanel fragrance. It's like super popular. What is it? Chanel number five. But this one's a little more, this is like if Coco Chanel was like, a girl and Coco Chanel is as a woman. You know what I mean? Hmm. It's like pretty, it's floral, it's light. Like I feel like for those that like floral, you can wear this without getting a headache. Does that make sense? Um, oh, let's see. The notes are sparkling citrus and exotic blood orange that layered with lush greenery. Okay. The heart unfolds with Bulgarian rose, jasmine, and osmanthus. Okay. 
The lasting floral aura swirls with amber, vanilla musk, and patchouli. Okay. So, so far, I feel like this one, it's like a more fl light floral. Like, that's the base of it. Same thing. Ceramic cap. Adding plastic bottom. That's so cool. Like, this thing is so heavy. Like, oh my goodness. And let me show you what it looks like in the little box. Fancy. And then bam, magnetic. But yeah. It's pretty... I'll keep you guys more updated. Um, I'll probably be posting around, like, my channel around when I spray them more. And I, like, like how they smell on my body. I'll let you guys know. So definitely subscribe if you are curious. And then the third and final one is going to be... Desert Rose. This is the more like beige colored one. And same thing. We got the Jeff L by KKW Rose. And then on the bottom, same thing. Uh, Jeff L, Desert Rose, Edit Parfum. And then 36 month shelf life, 30 mils, one fluid ounce, flammable. Okay. Then let's get into it. We got this, a beautiful, like, I feel like you need to, like, oh, killing it. Same concept, ceramic lid. Okay, so this one was kind of funny because I was like, hmm, this smells like something and it's so weird. So let me describe it before I explain. This smells like corn tortillas for me. Like, like, the dough of corn tortillas is what this reminds me of. And I, like, kind of love it, which is weird because I did not expect to love it. And that's, like, the only thing I can think of. I swear, it's like corn tortillas with, like, rose essential oil sprinkled throughout it. But let's read what's actually in here because i doubt there's corn in here so it says oh did i even show you guys the back sense so there's that one so this one is white touchy bona flower pink peppercorn and cypress i like cypress unveil a second skin the intimacy of flowers discovered with jasmine and tuberose Skin, musk, and bourbon are warmed by solar amber for an unforgettable signature. Maybe it's that skin, musk, or bourbon, but something, or that solar amber, but something smells like corn in here, and I can't, I like can't figure it out what it is, and it's so funny. God, why does it smell like corn? I don't know. I'm gonna use the Night Iris one uh, today and yeah. Like, I love this smell, weirdly enough. Like, a corn rose? I don't know. But yeah, guys, they're each, um, what were they? They were each $45 individually, but I got it for a set of, um, of three for, what was it, like 120 So I saved like 10 bucks almost. And then I signed up for their like $10 discount thing. So I think I paid $100 for all three of them, like all together as a bundle. So, yeah, I would actually... So this is, I like this one for like, if you wanna, if you love rose smell, but like you want a little something different, this is a good one. For that white one, that's like if you want like a light floral, I feel like this one get, pictures me. Let me show you. So this one, this is the Jasmine Air. This one I recommend if it gives me like high school girl vibes. Like if you're going to high school and you're a girl, this is a good one. And then 
this one gives me, let me smell it again because I just really want to love this one. Uh, this one gives me candied something. Candied berries, perhaps, but a little more sophisticated. Um, I would say this is like if you're going out and the sun is setting. This is what I would use. And I really feel like they try to replicate it with like the packaging, like what time of day you would use it. I remember seeing Jeff um, be like, oh, you can... <gasps> Oh no, the paint is chipping. Was that me? Oh no, I don't like that. Oh, great. Never tap it again. It's probably my fault. But yeah, um, those I would say, I forgot what I was saying, honestly. But yeah guys that's my first impression of the kkw collaboration with jeff Letham. Letham. and i hope you guys really enjoyed it uh definitely subscribe if you did enjoy it and i will talk to you guys later but um i'll probably be posting about them more on my tiktok and instagram so definitely follow me there if you want to Get the 4-1. Okay. I'll talk to you later, besties. Bye.